luxury version, which is really nice. I like this. Oh, look at this. You've got like chairs here, right? You can sit this way. Chill. Or you can do this. Spool this. And now you've got a nice little lounge here on the back. And it opens you up the back of the boat. You're completely open and you get to stare at these babies right here. One on this side, one on this side. I'm going to explain how this works. We're actually going to deploy both of these. This is part of the flying mechanism. So what we're looking at is actually a whole hydraulic system here. You've got two V8 turbo diesel maritime engines that are then powering these babies on either side of the boat. We're going to deploy these. They're going to go in and down. We're working with a combined horsepower of 740 from these two V8 engines that are actually underneath here. Now what's nice about that is we're not actually going to hear them. This is all insulated. So when you get on a boat like this, you fly above the water, you can't hear the engines. So it's super relaxing. In here you can make this into a fridge. So I just throw some drinks in there, throw some drinks in there. Storage, there's storage underneath there as well. We've got beautiful teak wood here. And just, uh, it's, it's very special, it's very wide. This is a 10 metre long boat, but it's much wider than you'd normally get with a 10 metre long boat because you lift it out of the air. So you don't need that kind of very streamlined, very narrow boat, of course, because they're designed like that so you can actually get through the water as, as streamlined as possible. On this boat, you're up out of the water so you can make the boat much wider, which is nice. Down here, you've got a little sitting area, but you can actually make this into a bedroom. And you've got a full on box in here. Come look at this, this is nice. And your fridge as well. Got another fridge here. Got a fridge here. There we go. All right, now what is really cool is this right here. <laughs> when you ever see a steering wheel like this, except in my videos, yeah, this is so modern. It's so cool. So actually what you do is you control the boat purely on these two screens and this joystick. You can use this as well, but this is, you can literally control the whole boat on a joystick, which is so cool. Now when you've got nice weather, you can leave the roof open as it is now, or you can press this button right here, roof down when it's raining. And this whole thing will come down. version. You can actually get more sporty versions as well if you like. Here we go. This one right here. Now this is what we're going to be taking out today. This is like the sportier configuration. All right. Now. Are you sure you want to do that? Look, I failed high jump in school, but maybe I've gotten there since then. As you can see, the flooring is different in this one. This is actually synthetic teak and the other one is real teak. So you can get pretty much whatever you want. See, in this one it's different because the front is open. You've got two armchairs there instead of like a cabin. This one is, again, 10 metres long, but the next one they're going to make is 30 metres long because I was asking, well, are you going to make one with like bedrooms and like the one that you can actually take overnight stays? And I said, yep, that's next. So that's cool. Now here, this is where it all happens, baby. We are going to turn on the engine just with this right here. Hold that. And then hold this. On! Engines are on! And you hear how like quiet they are. That's because again they're here and covered with insulation. Now, this is where it gets cool! Have a look at this. The owner foils. Fly mode! Fly mode! I've never seen that on a boat before. That's so cool. Now, what we're going to do is go to trim. This is how we have to prepare. And then, watch what happens when I press this one right here, out. This
All right. Now, what is even cooler is you can actually steer the boat from here, or you can go into this mode here, and then you change from the wheel to the joystick. Now, let me show you what the joystick is. This is, this is James Bond kind of stuff right here. Right here in your armchair at the front of the boat, you can literally <laughs> have the wind flying at you in the front in your armchair and you just control it from here. Like, look. How wicked is that? Now, this boat goes top speed 40 knots. I've been told, and I'm about to drive this, but I've been told it's like driving a 9-11 around the track like it just whips around because you don't have the water to hold the boat back you know there's it's not like trying to push through any strings of water you're above the water so it just whips around a lot of people who would buy this would actually use it as a tender this is a word that i have recently learned over the last few years when i've been around very expensive boats for example you would have a massive yacht and then in order to get to the mainland, say if you're at Monaco, you park that offshore, you can hop in something like this, fly into shore, have your dinner on shore, and then fly back to your massive yacht. So this is something that they call a tender, and that's what people buying this yacht would mainly use it for. All right, let's do this. Let's fly team, let's go! Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Thank you to Alois here. He is the 
manager of everything, as I said before, that is literally his title, from Anata Boiler Yachts, and you guys can go check it out. The link to their website is in the description below. I hope you like the page. Give us a thumbs up, pop a comment below. Tell me what you thought about this flying yacht, and we'll see you guys on the next YouTube bit somewhere else as well. Love you. We're out.